Okay, welcome to the Sake of Science, where we explore the world around us for the sake of science. Today I brought you to the shores of the South Fork River here in Stewart on a nice stormy day to discuss the one compound on the planet that is the most important for life to exist in, and that is water. Water is the catalyst for life on this planet. It affects so many processes it's near impossible to discuss them all. So let's discuss one near magical property of water. That's called the hydrogen bond. Hydrogen bonds are weak magnetic bonds between hydrogen, a positively charged ion, and the negative charges of the other atoms they are bonded to. In this case, oxygen. Now normally we expect things to sink, as you can see, but if we're careful, because of these hydrogen bonds, they create surface tension and a force on the surface of the water. And now we can make things that sink actually float. Now the surface tension is pushing against the weight of the wire, and the wire is pushing against the surface tension. This causes a bend in the surface of water, refracting light that you can see here. As water evaporates from the leaves, it pulls the water from the roots into the rest of the plant via hydrogen bonds and surface tension. The surface tension also allows for water to bead up on leaves. Without surface tension, the water would spread across the entire leaf and not have any droplets whatsoever. And what we've done here, we've increased the amount of water in the glass to be actually more than the glass allows, which creates a bubble above the surface of the glass edge. Now what this does, it creates a pressure and a force from all different sides pushing towards the center, which will allow things like spheres to float on the surface tension dead center. Here we've placed the cap to a milk jug on top of the surface tension, allowing it to float dead in the center because the force is acting on it from all sides equally. Also, you can see it floating above the surface of the glass. Another interesting quality of water because of its polarity, certain compounds will disassociate within the water itself and separate into their separate ions. In Salt's case, sodium and chloride, there are two ions, sodium and chloride. One is positive, one is negative. With a little bit of mixing, they will line up and separate into their ions according to the polarity of the water. Now, you can no longer see, after the mixing, the actual granules of salt they are invisible, they have disassociated and are hidden within the polarity of the water molecules themselves. One more intriguing aspect of water is its ability to pick up suspension, things like sand and silt. You see it in rivers and streams, the dark milky or dark brown water, that suspended rocks and sediment in the water itself. This gives water more power and allows it to cut canyons, streams, and sometimes cut right through mountains as you will see in just a moment at Split Mountain, Utah, the Green River cutting directly through Split Mountain. Now let's talk about bubbles. Bubbles are actually quite fascinating and there's a serious science to the formation of bubbles. Now bubbles can be created by adding detergents or soaps to water and what a bubble actually is is a thin layer of water sandwiched between two layers of soap molecules. Now if you look really, really close on the surface of the water, you can see light refracting through the water just like it would in a rainbow. This is due to some quantum properties, which is definitely something for a later tape, but it's still fascinating. Now bubbles are a lot of fun to play with, but eventually they all pop. Well, thanks for tuning in to For the Sake of Science. And I'm Chris, and I appreciate you watching my little video, and I hope you learned a little bit about that wonderful element of water that allows for the very existence of life on this earth. Please hit subscribe and tell your friends, and watch us next week when we discuss how to make biodiesel. Remember, explore the world around you, ask questions, search for answers. Why? For the Sake of Science.